a steam injection test on truck and gasification. It's about the amount of steam I'm going to be spraying in there. Only about 163 degrees on that steam jet. Need to hurry up and get this thing going. Don't have much time on this boiler before it runs dry. Take area was clogging up. Only a small portion of it left. This stuff's pretty, pretty hard. We got only that small little column there. That entire intake zone was clogged up with that ash. Sucker still hot. Maybe my fault because I accidentally had this screw loose, which means a lot of air was getting into that area. That is a very hard piece of vitrified ash. So we were hitting some really high temps in there. This is completely vitrified. This is all ash was virtually no combustible material in the combustion column at all. It's all coming from right here. That's the size of the particles we were running. This 
see there my glass cracked. That's where some of the inlet leaks are, are at. And also my need from this blow port, which is used to spray the lenses with compressed air. Looks like we got some tar in there. This may not be completely charcoal biochar. So those big heavy duty lenses did crack. So that will be the last run I do with this particular instrument. I may repurpose this for something. Maybe an exhaust heat exchange. But that's about it. All the veins are basically clogged up. Or the uh, discharge ports, I should say. So that was a total fail. stuff is super hard. So running at extremely high temps might not be the best idea. If it's going to do this to the ash, I'm going to have to get some type of ash removal. Strange. Okay, so the whole idea of building a small test model to determine whether or not you're going to build an actual size one has failed miserably. This thing's just clogged up too bad. And what happened was some of the leaks that sprung on the top end here allowed combustion to start right there in the lens. It looks like both lenses are cracked. I'm gonna tear this thing down. We're gonna have a look at the ash column and see what happened inside here. The JB Weld and all that's pretty much destroyed. This area got very hot. Most of my combustion was taking place right here upper area versus down here where the inlet is. There's a clog in here somewhere. We're going to find it. Okay, so the cyclone was empty. Most of this stuff's probably from manufacturing. That's mostly solder beads. So it was completely empty. This wasn't necessarily a dust cyclone as much as it was meant to cool down the the. Uh, the gases so it didn't burn up my blower pump over there so that's how much fuel was still left in the tank so we didn't burn very much at all on that run total failure but i did learn the importance of sealing upstream leaks i did learn that this particular configuration is a bad idea same thing happened last time the combustion wanted to localize in the region of the discharge. So I don't know if that was from leaks up here causing air to get in or what. This discharge zone is the hottest zone of the whole thing. I also learned that some type of uh, continual flow of fuel is probably going to be necessary. Not looking good. I think the most valuable lesson that I learned in this test is that leaks in the system will alter the combustion zones. This bolt here was loose. It was letting air into this area, which caused a localized combustion. Once the column had been lit, the device was getting air through these leaks up top, inside all these cracks and things like that. The combustion zone localized in those regions because there was less resistance to the airflow eventually and the slagging has definitely shown that um, running at a high flow just may not be an option which would mean that steam injection may be a bad idea I don't know if this is a result of steam this is very hard rock hard vitrified ash and minerals. There's different colors inside of that. You can kind of see the glistening glass-like surface. So this stuff here is going to be a killer. So from the next design, 
the fuel itself is going to be kind of the initial filter. Whereas on this one, we used holes in a grate, but those just became quickly clogged. By using the fuel, we should get a situation where it's constantly flowing. So we're getting a clean filter area continually as the fuel flows down and onto a rotating grate. This, this grate's gonna rotate with a spiral on it, which is gonna pull material out of this column. So we'll have a continuous flow of material. Because as is, this just wasn't gonna work. This is a particularly narrow test device, but from some other test I've done, I was led to believe that this would work, and it did until it clogged. We were seeing temperatures down here in the order of 450 degrees with the steam injection. So I've cut the top of this thing off. It's still a little hot from that. Let's see if I can get this to come out with one hand. the size of some of those copper oxide plates. That's a huge piece of cloth there. That is a skin of copper oxide that is formed on the material from high temperatures. So copper is definitely a no-go. I kind of knew that, but I was expecting the steam to maybe cool it down enough to where it wouldn't reach these temperatures. Look at those white marks from the flares blasting through the screen. Dude, that sucker's hot. Here is the internal screen. I kind of drilled a couple of them holes out, hoping to increase performance of dab. None of the holes are necessarily clogged. Vibration may have removed a lot of the dust, but That was the last little area of work in there earlier. Everything else had clogged up. Ooh, look at that. Big old scale. So this didn't necessarily clog up really bad. I don't see one hole that's... No, as soon as I say that, I find one. There's one or two of these holes that are caked. most part total failure that there is the uh, steam dilution system which appears to still have all of its holes clear This is also a steam injection zone. So there you have it. I've learned the importance of upstream leaks. And I'm going to try and use this information the best I can to uh, make a bigger one. Those are the, the four steam jets right there. barely see them. I noticed that I have a leak now. A small video clip of it leaking in this region, I think. Well, it's by the bow. I think it was right there. <laughs>